Hi, it's Savannah, and this is the first video discussion board for Anthropology 102 based off of Survival, the sneakiest cartoon. There's five questions to be answered, starting with number one. What does fitness mean in evolutionary terms? And when it comes to crickets, what does fitness mean? In evolutionary terms, fitness means that the probability that the line of descent from an individual with a specific trait will not die out. When it comes to cricket's fitness, it means that the fittest individual is not necessarily the strongest, the fastest, or the biggest. A cricket's individual includes its ability to survive, find a mate, produce offspring, and ultimately leave its genes in the next generation. Number two, is calling good or bad for a cricket's fitness? Contrast the reasons why it's selectively good versus the reasons why it's selectively bad. Calling can be both good and bad. Good in that it increases the cricket's chance of attracting mates, which in turn increases the chance of reproducing and passing on its genes to its offspring. However, culling can be bad for a cricket's fitness due to the fact they're not only attracting other potential mates, but also predators like the bat in the cartoon. Number three. Describe three different incidences in the story in which a cricket is prohibited, eliminated from mating, and thus unable to crack, unable to pass on its cricket genes. First, the calling cricket was not quick enough to get to the female cricket before the sneaker cricket did, thus indicating through natural selection that the calling cricket would be eliminated due to its slow pace, which put the sneaker cricket at an advantage, and with the sneaker cricket's tactic, it has a better chance of passing on its genes. Secondly, the calling cricket attracted some unwanted attention. The calling cricket's chirping attracted a predator, which was the bat in the story. The calling, cricket, the calling cricket's tactic to attract the female was only natural. However, he was smart enough to hide from the bat or strong enough to fight off the bat which resulted in the bat swooping in and eating him. So that leaves the sneaker cricket again able to mate with the female cricket. And lastly, the calling cricket spent all of its energy toward attracting the female cricket that the sneaker cricket was able to intercept and take advantage of the situation. The sneaker cricket didn't have to make the effort to attract the female cricket, so he was able to reserve its energy and use it towards reproduction. Number four, ultimately, would you say the pattern of natural selection occurring in the story is stabilizing, directional, or disruptive? Well, I said that the pattern of natural selection in the story was disruptive. There are two male crickets, the sneaker cricket and the calling cricket, and they're both at extreme ends of the range. That will produce more offspring than do the remainder of the population. And finally, number five. In what specific ways does the environment influence the practice of cricket calling? Crickets will chirp more often when it's hot outside. So with that being said, the crickets chirping will allow for them to attract more mates and create the opportunity for su successful reproduction. However, increasing of chirping makes the cricket more subse susceptible <laughs> to being an easy target for the predators just like the bat in this story. And that concludes the answers. Thank you.